Hey, Tubes. Tell what's wrong here. <clears throat> Excuse me, a truth on a budget. Uh, so, I wanted to talk about something which is probably more of a therapeutic thing for me than anything else, but you know, it might, might be nice for other people to hear too that are in the same spot. <laughs> but the thing the thing that's so stressful about living in what is essentially like a sci-fi horror movie is that if you try to talk about anything with anyone else, they just think you're like uh, either uneducated or crazy or both, you know? And um, they don't take that in, into account when, you know, they think about your mood. Like, it's difficult keeping it together, you know, having to, you know, run the rat race, do the thing, you know, work, you know, five to six days a week, have, you know, normal interactions with people, knowing full well that, you know, everything is a big, satanic gag, a joke, a ruse. It's fake and it's bullcrap and every everything that everyone cares about is not even real. Politics, sports, all this stuff. Television. So you got, you know, nothing really to talk about with, you know, with a lot of people unless it's like, you know, I don't know, not having to do with those things, but it's what mostly what everyone's into. But, um, you know, it just like having to like spend every day and, you know, hold it together. On a normal day is like difficult. I mean, you know, think about those like friggin' zombie movies, you know, when there's the, 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 the that always have those like, uh, you know, moment of levity scenes. Um, I don't know, I haven't seen a zombie movie in a while, but there's, you know, there's times in uh, in, uh, in uh, movies where, you know, you know there's a uh, sign of, you know, usually right before something bad happens, but you know, it's rare because you're tense, you don't know what's going to happen, and, you know, of course, you know, whereas I don't have any fear of death, the, uh, a lot of the crap I have to deal with is, um, very stressful. There's, there's crap that I'm dealing with right now that I don't, I don't even want to have to talk about from uh, just from how the how the the uh, the, the uh, current climate of the uh, comment section. So I'm gonna spare myself any of that. How uh, you know not well my life is going currently, and you know me too. I I don't like I don't like complaining. Uh, I tried to do a video about what was going on yesterday, but it, but it didn't work, and then my phone would start acting nuts, and I lost, like, almost, like, 40% of my battery all of a sudden, and I don't know, so I just, the, the video was all foobar, so I just, I just deleted it. Excuse me. I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's just so effed up that, like, even though you talk about this stuff, You know, people who are close to you, since since they don't think it's real, you know, they they don't they don't you know they don't take it into account that that's that's that that that's your your reality. And probably if they did, they they probably think you were like a schizophrenic or something anyway. Who knows? I don't even know.
definitely one of those videos where, like, as, I, as I'm into it, I'm, like, not even sure if I want to be doing it. I don't know. So I thought about it yesterday and I haven't had really a um, like a like a like a permanent like safe home in uh in like almost 18 years. I haven't had a stable living environment for 18 years. Imagine the stress. I, I don't think most people can. People people take take for granted having a having a safe place somewhere where they can shut the doors and be alone and you know do what they want. I don't want much and I don't have, you know. You know, there's there's been a couple times obviously I you know you can you can check my catalog where like you know things are great for like a minute never ever ever lasts place I was I was living when uh, you know I was I was I was working for that guy it was a total nightmare I, I don't even want to talk about that that was a effing nightmare um, for anyone who who doesn't know real quick uh, basically, I uh, broke my knee uh, working for him, uh, falling out of a, a, a ladder that that he set up, and he had me up there with a the, uh, leaf blower doing doing gutters, which you're just doing it by hand. But unfortunately, I have the mindset where I, if someone knows more than me, I I I, I trust their knowledge. Um, I you know it's something I've tried to like get out of. You know, because uh, I've seen a lot of uh, men, quote unquote, uh, just just BS. They don't they they don't actually know what they're doing, but they will confidently tell you that they do. So you can't trust them. Just they're just because they're confident does not mean that they know what they're talking about. A lot of men are really good at faking confidence. But anyway. So that happened. I couldn't work for two months, and then he, uh, I, I didn't, you know, take him for workers' comp. Didn't ask for any money. Didn't ask for anything. Might have asked for like a, uh, you know, some some weed every now and again because because he sold weed, so he had it. Um, and like not a lot either. Just like you know, just just you know, like like you know, like a nug. So I'd be just sitting around all day, not you know, with a broken knee, not be able to do anything. It was effing boring. Anyway. Uh, long story short, he stopped paying me, so I was doing landscaping for free. He all of a sudden came at me with, yeah, uh, you owe me all this back rent, and my car was falling apart. I was, I was driving around with a uh, red rejection sticker for like a year and a half. Anyway, to uh, get out of that, I, uh, I, was, I, I was living with my friend Christy for like, for like not even a month, and that was awesome while it lasted. That was my favorite living situation ever, because she didn't give a crap and like she and she wasn't around much, and like when she like wanted to like party and stuff and like drink, she she went to a two different uh, apartment anyway. So I was often doing my own thing and had the place to myself. Uh, so that was great for like a minute. And then, and then she lost, she, uh, she, uh, she lost the apartment. <laughs> then I was bouncing around. Then I was, then I was living with that guy that I was working with, but he turned out to be a crazy, grumpy old man. And that, you know, turned into one of those, oh, you can do this. Then like, no, you can't. Then like, you know, I never said you could. 
type of type of weird crap that you know I'm sure people have dealt with. Um, blah blah blah. But you know that's that's just since I've since I've had the channel. Oh gosh, even you know prior, and that's just you know places that I've had where I was actually like living. There's older uh, videos where I was just crashing on some dude's couch. Um, I live, you know, in the woods for a good par uh, por portion portion of the uh, summers, which I love actually. I love living in the woods. Unfortunately, in Massachusetts, they have um, state law where you're only allowed to stay two week a uh, two week maximum uh, before Labor Day and then uh, uh, another two weeks after Labor Day, and no more than that, and that's within all state parks. And you know, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, John, why don't you, why don't you go to a non-state park? Because non-state parks cost almost as much as like getting a, a hotel room. They're like, you know, a, a, private, a, a, a private camping park usually costs between, you know, at least 30 bucks a night or more. Uh, everything in Massachusetts is very expensive. There's nowhere to park even. There's, I, I can't go anywhere to just park and hang out. I gotta um, drive all the way out to a Plymouth where there's a 24 hour, 24, hour, uh, 24 hour Walmart where it's you know kind of okay or like behind where I work where it's kind of okay. And I don't even want to say that given the current climate. So uh, let's just let's just gloss over that. Um, you know, so like, you know, like, I, like, you can't, I was just sitting down by the seawall the other night in Hull, just smoking a butt, like, uh, finishing it before I went to my parents' house, and, um, a, a cop, like, stopped and, like, you know, asked me, you know, like, you know, basically checked me out, you know, everything all right? And I was like, yep. And he was like, huh? And I was like, yes. He's <laughs> like, all right, you know, drip for drip, and I was like, okay. Just, Get out of here! I'm not. I I wasn't blasting music. I didn't have my lights. Like my lights were off. I was just not bothering anybody. Sitting there smoking a cigarette in 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 the car that is mine, which is legal. Then a cop still has to like you know. So you know, there's just nowhere to go to, you know. Like I'm like, imagine if I was like you know watching videos or had my tablet out and you know was like doing something on that or you know, having a smoke or something. You know, wouldn't, you know, no way. There's just nowhere to go in Massachusetts. You gotta pay. You gotta pay to park anywhere. And, and like most places, closes, uh, close at a certain time. And you're watched the whole time you're there. It sucks, dude. You know, I don't, I honestly do not think I ask for much. I just want to relax. Don't want anything for free. I, you know, practically all my life I've been doing everything I, you know, I, I, I was supposed to. Hated school, still went to school. As soon as I was done with, like, I just could not handle school anymore. I, I went to work and I was paying to, and I've been paying to live. Been paying rent since I was 17. Been working full-time jobs. Got my GED. Went to college a little bit. Tired of doing that because it was kind of pointless. I don't know. You know, it's like I've, I've, I've been doing everything I was supposed to, you know? And just... I get, I get, I get taken advantage of and ripped off constantly. And you know, I got, I got no, I got no, no solace, you know, no, like, no comfort from like people because anyone I, I try to talk to about anything, even, even when I was a kid, it was just a pissing contest. You know, I, I, imagine going to your mom with like, you know, with like, with like a problem, and she's just like, well, you think that's bad? Derp, derp, derp. You know. Practically, I had to teach myself empathy. And I'm still a cold, hard son of a bitch, and like you know, I don't try to be. I care about stuff. I just you know, it doesn't doesn't 
It's not always expressed outwardly. I'll tell you what though, my face doesn't lie. Even if I have a hard time finding the words. I don't know, man. I gotta, like, find an animal shelter I can bribe to take my cat. Because my parents are gonna euthanize my cat Saturday. It's currently Tuesday. Uh, I can't. Nowhere's open yet. If you're wondering why I haven't done that yet, I just learned this last night, which led to other bad things. Blah blah blah. But anyway, I um, you know, so I'm gonna try to bribe, you know, bribe an animal sh shelter. You know, explain the 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 situation. Be like, you know, my cat's gonna be killed. Like, here's, here's all my money. Please just take my cat, please. Ideally, I would, I, you know, I, I want to come back for her. I just, I, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm living in my car right now, trying to, you know, put money, other stuff together. I got job opportunities in the spring, but, you know, that's not until the spring. So I should hopefully be able to put some more money together then. Which is what I would like to do. So unfortunately, you need money. But the job is something that I will not only enjoy, but something that is good. So, that'll be nice. But like I said, I gotta hold out till the spring. <clears throat> Excuse me, everything will be better in the spring. I just gotta keep my cat alive, and you know, obviously myself until then. Uh, it was like, you know, I don't know. Low twenties, high teens last night, and I was fine in my car. It's really the only issue is that I uh, there was a light right in my face, <laughs> but other than that, I um, it was fine. Um, so I'm not worried about freezing, obviously. Um, I haven't eaten in like two days either because I've been like stressed. So like, you know. There are places to use the bathroom, you know. You gotta find one of those, uh, one of those gas stations where, you know, people care and the, uh, it, the, the bathroom's on the inside and it's, a protect and it's protected by a lock. Uh, 24 hour donkeys can be a crapshoot. Yeah, <laughs> literally. But, um, um, um. but anyway. Ah. Uh. 24 hour anything's great for a transient because they offer bathrooms as well as sustenance. Uh, oh, tips tips on um, uh, surviving in a car and going time between showers. Um, here are things you'll need. Uh, powders. You're, you're gonna sweat so you want to uh, make sure to powder any sensitive areas. Um, you're also going to want uh, those uh, toiletry wipes. So you can stay clean, if you know what I mean. Uh, other than that, um, I like uh, like a, a scalp soothers or, you know, it's, you know something like in between. Um, you know, like uh, just, you know, little little things you can put in your hair on your scalp. Uh, of course, right now my, my, my head shaves, so it's very easy to, to uh, wash my scalp. Um, uh, I don't suggest having uh, long facial hair, so it will get stinky and itchy. Especially a big beard will get will get very stinky, and uh, you won't notice it because you'll you, you'll get used to it. I personally am not a huge fan of uh, deodorant and never wear it. Uh, but I do have cologne, so there's that. Um, also, because I uh, never wear um, deodorant, I don't stink, really. I mean, I have a scent, obviously, but it's not, you know, gross. Like, but, but 
look like I don't smell like a steak and cheese sub with extra onions, you know? I think I smell like a uh, pungent tropical fruit. <laughs> but everyone likes to smell their own cooking, right? Um, so yeah, those, those, uh, oh yeah, and also, uh, also uh, obviously hand sanitizer and uh, good, good clippers. Because you're going to want to keep your, uh, your toenails and your uh, fingernails short. Because uh, they get dirty very quickly. And you don't always have access to a sink in a, in a towel. Also, um, don't forget to bring a towel. Have a towel on hand. And a gallon of water. Um, and um, always have a gallon of uh, just what I call camp water. Which is water you can fill up anywhere. You can fill, fill it up at a tap. You, you know, that's basically just for you know washing your hands or you know other stuff or you know anything you might need water for that you don't need to waste uh, you know um, you know a uh, gallon of um, bottled water on bottled water on are we going to okay yep don't even look at me honey Lexus SUV there were children in the car too anyway. Um, Driving to Massachusetts always puts me in a good mood. You know what's funny? I need to charge this, it's all chunky. Um, driving in Massachusetts is one of the few things I could do to, um, this is like the closest thing I have to freedom. Cause like, cause like I said, I can't park anywhere. So like, I, I, I gotta drive around to like have my own space in like one of the worst parts of the country to drive from, you know, the, uh, between the state of the roads and uh, how, how people around here drive. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 22 minutes. Yeah, we're all Dutchy angle again. We're all Dutchy. There we go. Why? Oh. Yeah, I gotta... I said the phone's kind of in a weird place. I mean, it works, works for me. <laughs> works for my needs. Not really for, um... Now, it's, the steering wheel's kind of in the way of it. You know, if, you know, if I want to see if a, um... Commercial's over or not. Uh, you know when you're real depressed and it's, like, hard to talk? It's, like, it takes, like, a little ton of effort. You wouldn't know that from how much I'm talking, but, like... I have this thing where once I start something, I have to finish it, so I find myself beginning sentences that I have to finish. I'm like exhausted now. Um, yeah. uh, I don't know. Like I said, I can't call anywhere for hours. Clearly, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm not hungry. <sighs> I already have a coffee from yesterday. That's good enough to, to, to continue to drink. I don't need a new one yet. I don't know. I know where, you know, I can't go take a walk. It's like, you know, 25 degrees, not in the wind. So, you know. Not really up for that. I don't know. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Um. I don't know. A little therapy. Therapy rambler. Um. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for putting up with me. Um. If you're here to talk crap about me, honestly, go find something better to do. Because, like, there's nothing you can say to insult me. And what are you possibly getting out of it? Other than the fact that you're not winning any exchanges, because, like I said, you can't hurt me. You cannot hurt me. You have no, you have no claim staked anywhere near me to hurt me catch my drift. Anyway, 
Love you guys. Love all of you. Love you. Love love some of you more than others. Love it. Love each and every one of you. God bless all of you, even my enemies. You guys get extra blessings. <laughs> love you guys. God bless.